Good morning, dear sister teachers and my dear friends. Today's assembly is conducted by class 9A. And the theme for our assembly is When it rains, look for rainbows. And when it's dark, look for the stars. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Introduction When it rains, look for rainbows. And when it's dark, look for stars. The quote says that we need to find beauty and positivity in our lives, even in the darkest of days. When it rains, we get beautiful rainbows. And when it's dark, we get beautiful stars. No matter how hard life gets, we need to look at the positive side. Because dark times are temporary in life and they pass by. The only way to get through them is to focus on the bright side. It is good to look at the positives in life and have a positive attitude. Because a positive attitude makes our life full of hope and optimism. Hope that something good lays ahead of all the problems. It is the hope that keeps us going in the right direction. Negativity only keeps us down. Being negative will never make you happy. It is not easy to stay positive when life is tough. And if you're struggling with life today, remember this. You weren't created to live too long in negativity. You are built to win, no matter how tough it might seem. You've been blessed with immeasurable power of change. You have the capability to change your perceptions, your thoughts, the way you feel, the things you do. Be patient with yourself and the way life is right now. Beautiful, amazing people don't just happen. They have found their way out of the depths of loss, struggle and defeat. And yes, you are beautiful and amazing. So look at the bright side of life and enjoy every moment you have in your life. Story. Joanne Caitlin Rowling was born in England in 1965. As a child, she used to spend most of her time reading and writing stories. Her stories were appreciated by her mother and her sister Diane. She even wished to get her stories published someday. Her teenage years were unhappy due to her mother's illness. At the age of 17, she was rejected from college and she even failed the entrance exam held in the University of Oxford but she found a seat in the University of Exeter. At the age of 25, her mother died. At the age of 27, she got married, but she was abused by her husband, and so she got divorced at the age of 28, which left her as a single mother. She lived on welfare. At the age of 30, she decided to commit suicide due to severe, depre severe depression. But she directed all her passion into the one thing she could do better than anyone else and that was writing. So with an old typewriter, she began writing her book. In 1995, she completed her book, but it was rejected by 12 publishers. But she never lost hope. After two years of struggle, her book, Harry Potter, was finally published. It became a global brand that was worth more than $15 billion, and it was soon adopted in Hollywood films. J.K. Rowling became the best-selling author. She has more than a dozen of novels, seven Hollywood films, more than 15 awards, and she is the most read novelist of today's time. Bible reading, Mark 11, verses 22 to 24. And Jesus answered them, Have faith in God. Truly I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, be taken up and thrown into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that what he says will come to pass, it will be done for him. Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You are filled with compassion and mercy and grace.
there are positives to be found if we are willing to look for them. Just take one step and you will see the rainbow and stars over the rain and dark. Let us pray. Dear Lord, we thank you for this wonderful life that you have given us. Help us during the ups and downs in our life. Give us the courage and wisdom to face everything. Be our guiding light. Show us the right way and help us see the rainbow and stars over the rain and dark. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. For somebody going through tough times, for somebody struggling just to keep your head above water, you're trying, but things don't seem to be quite working out the way you planned. You thought you'd be in a different place at this season in your life. But you're still suffering. You have no say-so in what happens to you. But you have a say-so in what you do about it. You have a determining voice into where your life can go. See, life is 10% what happens to you. It's 90% what you do about it. You get a setback. You get thrown off course. You lost your mama. That's dirt. But show me something that has grown into something beautiful that didn't have no dirt on it. You need dirt on you to develop because dirt ain't just dirt. Dirt is fertilizer. Dirt is nutrient. Dirt gives you the strip for your seed to push through. You gotta have dirt on you to push through something. Everything you see that's beautiful starts out as a seed, but that seed got to get dirt on it. You got to have dirt on you to grow into what life got for you. The only thing I want from you is that every single day when uncertainty creeps in, I need you to get up and I need you to go heavy on it. In the midst of opposition, in the midst of challenges, in the midst of adversity, when you taste a little bit of blood and something happens that you didn't expect to happen, I need you to go heavy on it. You gotta be willing to go after your stuff. You gotta be willing to go after whatever has got your name on it. Sometimes you gotta fight your way over. Sometimes you gotta fight your way through. Sometimes you gotta look in the mirror and say, listen, I ain't got nobody else to encourage us right now. It's just me and you. But I'm telling you, you're the head and not the tail. And I'm fighting for me or my house or my children or my brothers or my sisters or my husband or my vision or my dream. I'm stand right here and I ain't giving up my children. I'm not giving up my money. No, stand. You can't keep quitting your whole life. You can't keep backing up and you can't keep fainting. Taking two steps forward and three steps back. After a while, there ought to be something in our lives that we stand through. Sicknesses that you stood through. Struggles that you stood through. Weaknesses that you stood through. Crises that you stood through. Pressures that you stood through. That is where character is developed. That's what defines our destiny. When you are in the middle of transition. Speech based on the topic. Looking at the bright side of life, hidden strength, I guess it's very difficult to find out our inner strength. And if we do, it's very difficult to showcase them. Because all are scared, thinking, what might happen next? Instead of focusing on our present and future, which can be decided on our actions and reactions, we give all our decisions to be made by someone else. And that someone else's decisions turn out to be our future destiny or fate. Our inner strength, which could be have made us strong at a point of time in our life, it turns out to be frustration, depression or whatnot. Person dies with a hope and keeps blaming God about the future or destiny he has written for him. Instead of that, try making your own decisions. Try learning good. Try learning what's happening on a day-to-day basis and go with the flow. The famous quote says, When it rains, look for the rainbows. And when it's dark, look for the stars. 
This quote tells us a lot. Even in the darkest of days, when it rains, you get beautiful rainbows and when it's dark, you get beautiful stars. Thank you. Thought for the day. Never regret a day in your life. Good days give happiness. Bad days give experience. The worst days give lessons and the best days give memories. Thank you and have a great day.